Hello, my name is Talisen Korting and I will present how MLE algorithm works. MLE stands for Maximum Likelihood Estimation. So, first we have some assumptions. Suppose you have C sets and we represent them by omega at index j that mean that which means that uh, j varies from 1 to c let's see one example here suppose that c is equal to 3 this means that we have three sets and let's suppose that these three sets of samples are divided into three independently created classes the class green that have 1 2 3 or l samples we have the we have the class blue from samples 1 to n, and we have the class red, and we have samples 1 to m. The main idea of MLE is given a feature vector x, we have to compute what we call class conditional density, and we define it by p given x and given a class omega at index j. So this is the class conditional density. We want to discover this class conditional density given a feature vector and also given all the samples that we have. In the maximum likelihood estimation method, how we do this class conditional density is represented by a Gaussian distribution. Suppose that we have lots of sample values this means that they behave like a Gaussian, that we can discover this value mu here, which means the average value of all these values, and also a sigma here that represents the standard deviation of this distribution. So we show an example here. Suppose that we have these three classes, as I said, and we have all these values here inside this two-dimensional block. So when we will consider the parameters of the class green, the class blue and the class red, we will consider the mean and the standard deviation. We compute the mean as the average of the values, considering the axis y and x in this two-dimensional case, and also the standard way to compute the standard deviation and covariance among the values. For example, here, when discovering the parameters of these three classes, how can we do? We can compute the average and the sigma, which is the standard deviation for these values. So, in this case, we have the mu at index uh, x is minus 0.07. So, the average of this distribution is close to zero, and the standard deviation is 3 which means that uh, x direction goes 3 for left and 3 for right. And also in the y direction we have the average of the values here are close to 5, so 4.83. And also we have a sigma of almost 1, so it means that the average of the y values here and they goes in this direction here for 1 plus 1 and minus 1. And we do the same for the other classes. The class blue, there is a more circular shape, that's why both sigmas are close to 1. And we have the, the average value for x and y, minus 3.8 and minus 3, so they are here. And also for the class green, we have a different value for the average, the x average, and also the, the y average, and we have different uh, standard deviations here. A smaller one in the x direction and a bigger one in the y direction. That's why we compute these three values here as the parameters of the three distributions. And since we consider the class conditional density as a Gaussian, we will compute for a new point if this point belongs to one of these three distributions considering the Gaussian equation. This is the equation to compute class conditional density for each class. Given a certain feature vector, we will compute the class conditional for one of that three classes. And here is the traditional equation of the Gaussian. So we consider the sigma, we consider also the feature vector and the mu. And here I provide 
one example considering all that values that I showed previously in circles and then I created uh, I simulated all the points in the neighborhood and I computed this con class conditional density for all the points which give these limits here among classes blue, red and also green. Suppose we have this point here in this, in this position here. So this point is minus 3.88 in the x direction and minus 3.04 in the y direction. So the idea here is to compute the class conditional density for the class blue. So how do we do this? Is the class conditional for the class blue in the x direction plus the class conditional for the uh, y axis. So we have to apply this equation here for both of the positions. So let's compute it here. The class conditional for the x we can use the same equation and in the places of the sigma and mu we put the current values for class blue. So in the x direction the probability is this number 0 0.37. If we compute for the y direction this is the probability. So the class conditional probability for the blue class is the product of both so 0 0.14. I will omit these same computations here for the other colors but only the, the final result. So the class condition for this point considering this class here we can compute in the both directions and we got this value here 1.28 but it's very is a very small number much smaller than this first probability and we did the same for the class green and we detected also a, a much smaller probability considering the blue. This is obvious that this point here belongs to the class blue because the probability in this case is the bigger considering these three classes. So that's how the MLE or maximum likelihood estimation works. We can compute for new points around this place. We we'll use this equation and get the probability for a point to belong to one of the classes. The biggest probability we can use as the class of the point. So this is our of the reference that I use, the classical pattern classification book from Dude, the Heart and Stork, and also Wikipedia for some common terms. So this is how MLE algorithm works. Thank you and goodbye.